basically I want to get my head underneath the water, get a view of what's underneath. Um, as the water is flowing through the stream, most people, they work the bed, the side beds, inside bends. Um, this will allow me to get a view underneath the water, look for cracks, crevices, and uh, just take it from there and see what I get. Found a crack in the bedrock. Uh, it's very old crack that the, the rocks in there are just jammed in there. I guess uh, a lot of times people call it false bedrock um, in this crack. It actually broke one of my picks, picking it out. So uh, looks like I found a home for the rest of the afternoon. I'll be digging that thing out as deep as I can. That was just rocks that have been embedded in that crack for who knows how many years. So uh, I'm gonna put some uh, tougher tools in there when I pick it next time. Uh, main tool under the water, sniping, uh, it's the Ryan Hart. It's called the dredge. It's not a dredge, but it's basically just a snuffer bottle just on steroids, pretty much. Pulls in, don't lose any material. Um, it's legal anywhere you go and uh, that's what I use under the water that's it so well, I've been coming up to this stream for years um, you know you pan uh, turbo pan pretty much all pan work um, and then bedrock you know you're you're not really dealing with a lot of material as you would panning um, but the material gets quality material. Uh, the elevation of water here in this stream changes so much that most of these rocks during the thaw is underwater. Or if it rains hard, it's underwater. So that gold's moving and it gets embedded in those cracks and crevices in the rocks. You come out here when the water level drops down all those rocks that are exposed, pick them out. Find the cracks, crevices, whatever you got to pick it out and you'll find gold just in those little pieces of rock that are exposed out of the water. This is a portable lungs uh, diving system. It's just a small little tank. Gives you about 15 to 20 minutes dive time. Um, mainly recreational, nothing big, nothing real deep. Uh, it's perfect for, you know, if I get to where my snorkel doesn't work and I'm too deep, this will take over after that. But uh, very portable. I can't be hiking in with a bunch of heavy weight, so this will, uh, this handles that. Yeah, it's basically just a dump bunch of sediment down at the bottom. It's almost like it's getting washed out. <laughs> Just sucked up a little uh, flake right off the bottom. Wasn't moving. Some of it's getting washed out. Some of it's just sitting right on top of it. Oh man! Just kneel down right at that rock. There's two pieces of gold fused into the rock. Probably about uh. About twice the size of BBs. Two of them side by side, fused into the rock. I don't know if it's uh, if it moved along the river and got stuck there, or if it's actually part of, if it was actually part of the quartz that's in the rock. I don't know. If, I'm gonna see if I can try to dig them out. Two pieces. I'll probably just stay here though all day. Maple Leaf Farm and Garden, Route 100A, Bridgewater Corners. Farm fresh vegetables, flowers, our own maple syrup, and gold pans. Very nice. Nice chunky piece. Yep. That's another, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Is that piece? I don't know. It's not breaking down like pyrite, but it's. It doesn't make sense, I'm not sure. 
Do so. But uh, the currents give me. I that yeah. weight belt. I need that weight belt bad. It was definitely a trial. I gotta fix some things. I can't use this thing no more. It's just not working. I don't really want to think about how much gold I left behind because this wasn't sucking it up. I'm just gonna get a. I'm gonna make my own. Us and other people got major, major holes. I've been panning for about, nah, about 50 years. Panned it out and uh, out come a nugget. Just sucked up a little uh, flake right off the bottom. You know what I'm gonna say? Come on, let's go! That's, that's from Jeff Williams. Panning gold is just about like going for the maple syrup. You got a lot of syrup, a lot of sap to get to a little syrup. And same with gold, get a lot of dirt and a few the Maple Leaf Farm and Garden, Route 100A, Bridgewater Corners. Farm fresh vegetables, flowers, our own maple syrup, and gold pans. Everybody's been using these, and uh, they're doing really well with them.